Hey guys, my name is Deck Charles, and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you guys how to create uh, how to create. Um, this is a tutorial video, and then I'm gonna show you how to swap faces. So, in order to do this, you have to uh, download some uh, some uh, Paint.net uh, Paint.net. Uh, uh, I forgot to call them. Wait, I'm gonna come back here and see. So it was plugins. So you're gonna need some paint on it plugins. Link in the description for all of these plugins. If you don't have these plugins, you don't you don't you don't have all of these. But but with these plugins, you can now have the feather object, and that's basically what you're gonna use for uh for this tutorial. So without that plugin, you're uh you can't do this. So you're gonna take some images of what you want to face swap, and uh, this is gonna need paint.net. Link in the description for that too. Um, if you search up paint.net in Google normally, you'd go to this thing called Warren Paint, which I, I don't know what that is, but it's some type of website for buying paint. And so, so search up getpaint.com instead. But I, I'll leave a link in the description, so you can just click that, click show more, and I'll do that. Anyways, I'm gonna take some two images. And uh, you guys can request me Im two images in the comments, and I'll also do that. So, uh, I'm going to go get those uh, uh, images. So, once you've got your uh, images here, I, I got Nicolas Cage, and I have Shrek, and uh, they're just perfect, okay? No, uh, <laughs> no, uh, um, no, I mean things to Nicolas Cage, but it was just the most perfect thing that I found. <gasps> so, now that you've got that... Uh, you have to choose where you're gonna put the face on. So let me let's say I want to put Shrek on Nicolas Cage. If I want to put Nicolas Cage on Shrek, I'll do this. So I'm gonna add a new layer and then put this on the bottom. You put you put you put a new layer and put it on the bottom when you're putting it on the one. So let's say I want to put this on Nicolas Cage. I put the new layer here. But if I want to take this Nicolas Cage and put it here, I add a new layer here. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the lasso. Uh, lasso uh, tool. So let's take that, and then you just wanna, you know, get the face. All right. You can either get the whole entire face or edit it in. So I'm gonna edit it in, cause that's what I think is the best. So. All right. All right. Once we got that, you're gonna uh, Control and C, or you can click Copy. Control C, Control C, Control C. Do it three times in order to make sure, sure that you have done it. And then you're gonna Control V or paste it in. Oh god, I... Oh no, I was on layer 2. Oh god, alright, we, we can't do this. We have to be on the background. Hold on, what have I done? No. Alright, now we got it. So, uh, make sure that you're not on... Make sure that you're on... Make sure that you're on a uh, background, not layer 2. Layer 2 is just for like... Uh, no. Mate is it's like like if we go to layer two or it's not really changed so this will be gone. And so if we go to layer two I think it'll be there. So now that you've got that, we need to start slapping this in. So uh, let's do this. So once you found a comfortable size for the face, we gotta start doing adding some touch subs. So we're gonna take the effect, and if you got the plugin, you'll be able to get the feather object. Now you're gonna click the feather object and make sure that it's maxed out for the feather rate fe um, feather radius. And then you're just gonna Control F. That's the key in order to do this. If you do Control F successfully and do it correctly, it should say uh, this in the window saying feather object in 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 initializing. And keep doing this. And this, as you see, like like right here, it's a little bit of disappearing. So that's what you want. So it looks like it like it really blends in with the photo, you know. All right. So uh, you're gonna deselect. And now, once you've done that, it, this should be good. Now you can do a better job. Um, I'm pretty much a beginner on this, but I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is if you guys got mad Photoshop skills or paint on ad skills. I don't know what to call it, but that's how you do that. You can go file. Look how much I've created. I've created a lot of these. 
I, I, I made a banner for a YouTuber by the name of Diana Forever, a friend. And now you're going to click Save As and make sure it's PNG and save it to a folder that you want it to be saved. I have it saved in a specific folder called Face Swaps and Swapes. You can click, oh, Untitled. That's Untitled, so we have to switch this. Uh, let's call it um, Blah, 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 but you can call it whatever you want. And click OK. Now you've got that save, you can enter it out, no problems. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I got a new banner. I kept trying to make one, and I think got a comment in the comment section below if you guys want a tutorial on how to make a YouTube banner. I'll be able to show that to you guys. Also, thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, peace out.